And here comes round two. Sorry, I'm a little bit fed up right now. I just watched um, Carol's latest video, Never Lose Truth. <clears throat> And what's happening here right now matches perfectly with the information that she has on her latest video uh, which will either be just before this one or just after this one on my channel as well because I'm gonna mirror it I'm gonna mirror the video so rain bomb number two Sickening, absolutely sickening. How sporadic is that? There's like, there's hardly any wind, the rain is making the tree move. That's just the raindrops doing that. I'm sure the wind will be here in a second though. Yep, here it comes. Cue the lightning in the hail. That poor tree, that poor tree. Wow. Okay, I was kind of joking. Wow. Okay, that, um, not normal much. as much as I can for documentation but I'm trying to lock myself in from the storm <laughs>
I've never seen this behaviour in Canberra before. And twice in one day, after a three month long drought. Um, for those who don't know, I'm in Canberra and I'm wedged between two mega fires. Um, Canberra is falling apart, the trees are falling apart, the ground is so dry. This is not going to help. Um, this is not going to help. It's just going to wreck everything even more. It will probably make the grass, like my grass is alright because I've been watering it, but it'll probably make the grass a bit greener and that's all. Everything's going to break. Um, we've already had a little flash flood from the last rain bomb. Um, I just... Uh, if this is happening over the fire grounds, it's not needed. It's only going to make things more hazardous. Yes, it will help put the fires out, but it'll make it muddy. Trees will fall over. Ash in the water supply, just it doesn't stop. Um, yeah, sorry. Uh, yeah, um, not too happy at the moment. Um, us Aussies should be jumping with joy and dancing in the rain and look at it. Look at what they're doing. Look at what they're doing to us. Um, yeah. I'm just glad there's a few of us out there that are awake um, because that's what they're doing. They're, they're, they're making this country unlivable. It already is unlivable. Wow. Gonna be a few dents in the shed roof. Okay, that sounds like it's... Okay, there's a skylight in here that I've covered up because the sun shines through it and makes it too hot in here. It sounds like the hail is landing on that skylight in the roof, inside the roof. Are you kidding me? Okay, back. <laughs> I had to film this. It's okay, I've got a bucket. If the skylight collapses, well, then, yeah, I'm packed and ready to go. I'm out of here. Just wanted to catch this.